Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you guys know where we're at. We're drafting the modern cube. Hopefully this one will go a little better than the last one. But also, we have a stipulation from Kretz Jr., longtime supporter of the stream, for Mono Red. And I think Mono Red's going to be pretty sweet. We can take this Legion War boss. Maybe the finale tables? Let's find out how Mono Red goes. I think this is a fine first pick for Mono Red. Also, if you guys want to support the channel in other ways, whether it's YouTube channel or my Twitch channel or my Cool Stuff Inc. articles, whatever you guys want to do, if you want to support the content I create, you can check out patreon.com slash franklapore. And for like $1 or $2 a month, like literal pennies a day, you guys can support the channel. And it's a great way to do it. Great way to do it. And I appreciate your generosity and your support. And hopefully you guys will check out patreon.com slash franklapore. Link is in the description below. Oh, this is a terrible mono red pack. Faithless Looting could be fine. It's really the only mono red card in this pack, unfortunately. I'm just going to take it. Oh, God. These, these mono red packs are terrible so far. Have we made a mistake? Do we have to audible? I want to take Pestermite because maybe we're not. Oh, where are we? You know, got outpost siege and siege gun commander. Siege gun commander. Do, 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 do. Siege gang is expensive, but it's also just very, very good. God, this pack. Is, these packs are just not good. I'll take Sky Sovereign because it's a play. Well, we'll take Sorcerer Spyglass actually. Yeah, I like. I I'm a big fan of taking a, a sideboard card. Uh, fifth pick. That's good. That's the whole place to be. Bedlam Reveler. Good lord. Yeah, this was not the... I think we chose poorly, guys. We might audible here and just wait to do the stipulation. We'll find out. We'll find out. For less than the cost of a coffee. Yeah, for less than the coffee and coffee costs a coffee of a month. For like a fourth of a cost of a coffee. Like one dollar, guys. Come on, one dollar. Give me one dollar a month for all these hours of entertainment you get. It's un it's unbelievable, guys. In the arms of the angels far away from here the mug is a creature All right, well, God, this is so bad. All right, we might have to change our our strategy. Unless, like, we cut all the red, and then the next package we're like, oh my God, here, just have all the burn spells. It's not impossible that that happens, but the likelihood is low. I just had a really stupid, maybe kind of funny idea for a cube. Standard cube, the entire cube is made up of cards that are normally considered sideboard. Oh, God. I feel like there would be so, there would be nothing. It would just be the dirt. Yeah, I think I think the really stupid... You, like you nailed it with the really stupid part. Not that That's not an insult. You, like, you knew what you had. So it's definitely accomplishing that goal. Um, is Mono Red even good in this cube? Yikes. It's the same picture. This is... Alright, so... So what it looks like here is that we're going to try to do some blue-red shenanigans, but I don't think it's going to... Uh, I'm not... It's it's not... I'm, I'm not... Uh,
Wingle dingles and schmingle lingle bingles. Okay, well, hmm. There's a lot of confusion happening here. Okay. Young Pyromancer Zealous Conscripts. Zealous Conscripts could be good if we hit that Keekums McJeekums. Yeah, I think Zealous Conscripts is just way stronger than the other cards. We're also might not be blue. Maybe we're red white. Seasoned Pyromancer. Okay. Gristlebrand. That's a dude. That's a big fat idiot. Yeah, we're taking Seasoned Pyromancer for sure. You didn't know I had Italian roots? That's interesting. My name is Lepore. That's funny. My name is Frank. <laughs> I don't know, man. Seems like it's all laid out there for you. That's crazy. That's crazy. Let's burst lightning. Goblin guide? Okay, look, maybe it's the maybe these two packs are really gonna are really gonna set us up nicely here. Okay. I'm on board right now. I'm listening. Okay, well now they're like, well, now you got now you just now you just got spoiled. Now you just ruined it. <sighs> Figure of Destiny. Oh, yes. Alright. Maybe we didn't ruin it. Hazaret? Oh, yes. Okay, we're doing good. So very far from home. Dreadhorde Arganist? Got haste? No, it's got trample. Okay, still fine. Still a green boy. Uh, I'll take the silk wrap in case we're white. Danny DB, thank you so much for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate you. Windbrisk Heights. Hmm. Ten Frank's Italian Mafia gonna get you bits. Wow. Dang it, stop doing that. Yep, you're just gonna keep coming up, aren't you? All right. Well. Oh. Uh -huh. Mirren Crusader. Okay. Well. Maybe we're red white. And glory. Okay, so they're just really begging us to be red white. Concealed courtyard lets us splash lingering souls. Sure. <laughs> That's amazing. It's a crater maker. Anna Fens is really good. All right, so I might just put the kibosh on the mono redness. I think it, I think it really is probably better than everything else in this pack, but it really also might come back. I don't want to risk that though. And then you get a pack like this where you're like, well, there's just nothing in here. K 
Casting three or more spells seems really hard to do. I guess we can just take Quarantine Field. At, at the very least, it's... Oh, jeez, Hero of Blade Hold. Okay. Okay. Well, Hero of Blade Hold. I don't think Reveler is making the cut. Don't care about Collective Defiance, really. Fairgrounds Warden is fine. Oh, Resto? Resto seems very, very good. Again, looking for a Kiki Jiki here. I don't, I don't think we're. Oh, Anto, it's not the Vanguard. Alright, this is coming together. Oh, Giver of Runes? Because I'm on Toaster Internet. Oh, Toaster Internet's the worst. We're making a lot of tokens here, which is nice. Banishing Light, Roast, Kithian. Okay, so Kretsch Jr., apologies, we'll do the stipulation next time. This is just going to be a red-white draft. Koth could be good. I think we just want more one drops though. Let's just take more one drops. And a Fenza comes back. I'll just take this Aleshnorn. Why not? Twenty six. These are both very very good. Oh Nahiri, sure. Wow. We're just getting it all. Mirror Entity seems very good in the token deck. I'm going to take Silk Wrap out. Probably take Lingering Souls out. We're not only going to splash off Concealed Courtyard, which is kind of narrow. Let's take. Let's hate this Massacre Room just in case we play someone in our same pod. Forget the Nahiri. Month Sponsor. Two years is a big deal. No one cares about the month after. That's true. 25 months? Eh. 20 months? 24 months? Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. One more cut. Or we can play 16 lands. Which could be okay. Nine, nine, seven or 9-8? Nine, 9-7, nine, nine, right? How about 8-8? Eight, eight? Let's 8-8 eight, eight it. Dreadhorde Arcanist any good? We literally have Burst Lighting and Flame Slash. Yeah, we can take out the Dreadhorde Arcanist. And sort of a color. We're going to add one more planes. play first yes do I keep this one lander with 17 lands in our deck even though we have two one drops no Jesus Christ oh god it's just so painful why is magic so goddamn painful all the time Uh, we actually took out the Lingering Souls. That's why we didn't play the Courtyard. So, I don't want to play Courtyard to flashback a card that we took out of the deck. That seems bad. We could just, we literally could just win with Estalia, but we'll see. Well, now we're talking. 
Hand gets better, but we don't get 1-1s, one so... I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. I'll discard the student in the planes. That seems really good. Because it gets us 1-1. One, one. I don't want to discard both planes, because then we could just be stuck on three. And having student in hand when you're stuck on three is just not... Especially with one planes, it's just not going to do anything. The number of white sources we had right now made student pretty unimpressive, so. You got it. Big Brimmels. Hazard seems like it could be good here. Well, well, well. If it isn't Nicholas Esper Dorito. Show me that smile. I kind of want to just hold them out to, to shoot them next turn. We'll see. Nah, I don't want you to get a free dude. I don't want you to get a free dude. I'm, also, I'm actually going to play it, because if we hit another land next turn, we can pump this, pump the figure, and then pump him again. And if we draw something to play, we're not going to have enough mana to shoot anyway, so it's... Do you ever play Arena? Um, e uh, no, you can't. I can't move to Arena full-time, because I enjoy formats like Modern and Cube too much. I have no interest in, in playing Arena full-time. Uh, okay. Strange. Yeah, I'll just take four again, I guess. Also, like, there's already, like, 400 Magic streamers playing Arena. Like, there's no reason for me to be playing Arena full-time. Like, that's just... What's the point? What do I get out of that? Seems good. But it, but it did not seem good. Don't waste another minute on your minutes. And do, 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 do. Just play it. I want to be able to figure of destiny. Sometimes they just. Wow. Well, guess I'm dead. Guess I'll just die. <laughs> oh, Christ. Cool. That moment when you're dead inside. Bring in Collector Defiance because it kills big brims. It was faint flame slash, I guess. Yeah. 
Danny DB, have a good night, buddy. Always appreciate you. Guess I'll die. Also, silk wrap's a good answer to things. Whatever, I'll play 41 because I don't even care. No, Stip. Would you like to play first? Yes. I will keep this. You got it. No attack, huh? Fascinating. Very fascinating. It's your girl. Going to get some mentoring. How much is Massacre Worm? I mean, I'll pay four life to trade with something, sure. I'll pay four. Sure. So you took four. But I took four too. So everybody wins. Except for me. But also except for you. Massacre Worm's only 20 bucks? That ain't too bad. Oh, hi. Oh, I see. Well, well, well. Yep, that's a thing, all right. Ah, oh, no blocks, okay. Nick, I'm curious you how many how many you actually have. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. <sighs> what are these? What are these notifs? Oh my god, you guys are ridiculous. Everybody in the Discord had like an event today in the subscriber Discord. So be sure to add yourself to the subscriber Discord if you guys are if you guys are subscribers. I don't know, probably like five. <laughs> oh god, every card I spec onto, I'm like, oh, this card could be good. 
and then it ends up going to like I end up losing money on it, and like the cards that I that I don't get I end up going to like thirty bucks. And I'm like, it's all making sense. Oh, that was a fine trade. Why is the song stuck in my head? How do I get these songs stuck in my head? How does it even happen? Sure. Yikes. Don't they die if we just make our guys 5-5s five next turn? I feel like they do. I'll go to 3, I guess. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Yeah, you got it, man. Now he's indestructible. All right, I'm just gonna attack here. I'll mentor on the, oh, oh, you dead? Okay. Classic, classic Matt Sorry. Uh, Fairgrounds Orden actually seems pretty good here. Just eats a dude. Doesn't even care, you take Mirror Crusader out. I feel like Alesh Norn is actually pretty good against them if we can get to 7 mana, but whew, good lord, that's quite an ask. I also feel like Sweltering Suns, like maybe we just be less aggro and let, let them be the aggro deck and we'll just wipe their boards. We're going to try this Sweltering Suns. We're going to see what happens. You definitely should have sold that foil Dominaria Karn. But that's life, man. Turn one figure is good. I will keep. And pass. Well, I guess we'll pump now. Interesting. This is nice because it blocks both these guys. 
And if they kill it, we're not too worried about it. Figure of Destiny was such a beating. Sure. We could resto blink the Fairgrounds Warden to get rid of this. I kind of like dropping Siege Gang next turn, and then next turn we can make this dude Inf infinite. They're going to go like this. Oh, they're not. Oh, they are. Doop, doop. Keep your sword. I don't know. Just that, huh? Okay. I mean, we're still going to pump this guy in our turn, because if we don't, we're wasting a ton of mana because of Tithe Taker. Pretty friggin' good. Yep, that's hard to deal with. That's actually pretty. That's actually really good right here. We don't get to kill the Sorn, but we do get to wipe their board completely. Oh, but then we then we just lose our figure. Yeah, that's pretty bad. All right. Well, we can just wait. And next time we get to pump figure to a million, a million. Sure. Yeah. Now I wish we waited. If we wait till we fly till he flashes back souls, we're not able to put anything else on the board. Like that's a perfect scenario in your head, but like then we don't get to advance our board at all. Like we could play resto, but it costs five. And we don't actually have any favorable blinks. I guess we could blink this and just blink a token, but it's not exciting. Now we get to kill Soren on the Sublime Archangel, which I'm fine with. <sighs> Absolutely amazing. God, I have the the best fucking magic online luck ever. You have Condemn in hand. <laughs> oh, Lord. I've never seen a Condemn played in this cube. moment when you're just waiting for your opponent to uh, to tap six into his figure of destiny when you have a completely obscure condemn in your hand I guess good times I lose the sublime archangel um, an inappropriate amount of times I don't know what to make of that Card is great, but I don't I don't feel like it should be that great in the modern cube.
Like, it feels like fun and also the least fun I've ever had in my life. Yeah, it's kind of like that. I'm gonna mulligan this hand with no white sources. Fuck me. It's the same hand. Corporate needs you to figure out the difference between these two hands. They're the same hand. One. This is just winning games. Like, I want to hit two lands. If we hit one land in the next three turns, we're good. If we hit two lands in the next four turns, we're good. Because you're a Soldier 76 Pro and now play Overwatch 24 7. Uh, I, you know, I, I, but I go under a different handle, Chris. I don't use my, my normal Battle.net tag. I made a different Battle.net account just so I could do that, so. Overwatch stream? God, I feel like the pressure would be so high. The pressure's already intense with the Magic stream. And this is a game I think I'm decent at. Decent. Oh boy. You're ridiculous. Brimaz, King of the Cats. When I come down, do you want to Overwatch stream and I'll coach you while you play? Yes, that would be sick, dude. Katie, would you watch if me and Nick did an Overwatch stream? <laughs> Uh, and Nick gave me Nick gave me pop props. I was gonna say pops. Nick gave me some pops. A AKA Fran Leopard. Been a long time. This is a Twitch user, formerly known as Force Pitch. Force Pitch Force. What's going on, buddy? Turn one Blood Moon. Oh my God. Why have you changed your name so many times? Hope you're doing. Uh, well, any streams meant a lot to me a while ago, even though I don't watch much Twitch anymore. Pug the Master, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate you saying so. Dude, I remember both of those accounts. I'm really glad, uh, I hope you're doing alright, man. It's okay, they only took all of our creatures. So three, four, five. We're just gonna go at Ashiok. We're gonna let them mana leak our Hero of Blade hold, I guess. You think they, got, think they have a condemn here, guys? Wow, that just goes through. It just happens. And, oh, it, it survived. Okay, so they're just going to damnation then because they have Black Cliff Cliffs. Da -da 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 damnation one time. <laughs> I'm in danger. Here we go. I can join if you need decent Overwatch players. Decent players are not what I'm having a difficulty finding. Oh, that's fine. Give me one land so I can zealous conscripts that thing. And I might actually just kill you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think we can I oh dang it. I think they heard us. They were like, oh shit. Oh boy. Okay, well, we're for sure doing this. Um, well, I think we just go face here. Let's see what happens. Stack all the triggers. The battle cry goes on the very, very bottom.
I got an idea. We can do a 6v6 with just viewers. That'd be awesome. That would that actually does sound awesome. So many people just want you to play Overwatch with them. Oh my god. I mean, people love Overwatch. It's a great game. Wow. This is on a mold of five? Holy bagolies. Holy spicolies. Do you guys remember Spicoli from Fast Times of Ridgemont High? That is a slippery slope to becoming a Fortnite streamer. <laughs> yeah, but you know what, man? That's alright. I go where the interest is. Zealous Conscripts is a hell of a magic card, guys. Make no mistake. Sub a benefit 6v6 draft with your subs and you, me, and Felipe commentate on the game fan. I'm gonna be honest with you, I love Felipe to death, but he would not he probably wouldn't be a great commentator for Cube Draft. Or any draft that's new, right? Um just like I wouldn't be a great Overwatch commentator. Oh, for Overwatch? Oh, that makes total sense though. Oh, because you said draft. So as soon as you said draft, I was like, magic, right? Because that's that's where my, my head my head bones at. Is the game Fortnite actually terrible, or are you guys just shitting on the culture surrounding the game Fortnite? Like, I really think that's a that's a valuable distinction to make. Oh boy, I don't think Lifebane Zombie has ever hit in the history of this cube, even against the decks that are that are colored against it, like the green white decks, like. I just happened to play my my green white creature. And I just happened to draw another creature. The problem is I just don't want to discard anything here. It might just be flame slash giver of runes. I think that's actually pretty good. Why is the culture terrible? Monsanto, clarify to me what you dislike about the culture. <sighs> Wishing we kept our flame slash now. Okay, you got it. See you later, bye. Are you leaving? Are you leaving right now? Are you leaving us? Okay, what are we doing here? Discarding probably two lands. We get to draw two. We make no guys though. I think it's fine. Drew two. Do the same. It's the same. Corporate needs you to go ahead and find the difference between these two cards you discarded and these two cards you drew. They're the exact same cards. Play the Adanto Vanguard. They didn't? They're giving me another chance to get it back? Wow. I didn't I I didn't I didn't do it. Welp, here we go. And Demir, okay, that's not exciting. Ravenous Chupacabra, go for the throat. This dude, this lady's dead. It's just gonna be a bloodbath. Oh, they're just gonna play our guy, okay, sounds good.
Huh. That is something. One, two, three, four, five. Whew. That is a thing. Well, a 3-4 is actually surprisingly good against our deck of 3-3s three and 2-2s. Two Eyeballs is right. Okay, well, I guess we'll give Siege Gang Commander Pro Black. And then we'll let our Mother of Runes die a sad, sad death. Sure. One, two, three, one, two, three, and play Kithian, huh? Uh, if here and two other creatures. Okay, so we can actually go to. It only costs two to do this. Why do I think it costs three? Oh, I'm thinking of P and Kieran Alar from last match. That guy's got to go. Actually, I'm gonna let this guy. I'm gonna let this guy hang back. Weren't they? I don't think they had. Another, I don't think they had three mana to sack the zombie token. Plus, we can respond by. Are you serious right now? If we do this, they could very easily make this indestructible. Oh, it's not going to do anything. Indestructible's not going to do anything. It's a good draw. That is a solid draw. See if ours is good. Not bad. Not bad. Plus we have Season Pyromancer in the graveyard. So they played the Signet for two, and then they used one, two to activate. So two to two to play the Signet, and then two to activate, two to cast uh well they cast Vampire Hex Mage and they cast the Vanguard, didn't they? Yep, that's a good card. Sure. They overpay for that? Figure Destiny. Pfft, that's really good, actually, because it leaves us enough mana. Wow, that's actually surprisingly good. Let's get rid of Liliana. And reveal. Biscuits! Uh, Biscuits is usually bad. Really? That's just juvenile. Now you're just being a child. Okay, so we know your last card is Mana Confluence. That's great. Good lord, look at these one-for-ones. I'm okay with this. We're doing alright. Spirit of Heliod is working overtime. <laughs> this is amazing. Dreadboar, Disfigure, Lava Coil on Goblin... Goblin guide and a thingamajig. Oh, that'll do. All right. What were we drawing? Zealous conscripts. It's always zealous conscripts. Okay. How do I get to my? Uh. <laughs> how do I get to? Wait. What's happening? Oh, that was the end. Never mind. I was like, how do I get to sideboarding? Oh, we won the match.
Or one the yeah. Yeah. Have you tried Booby's Buttery Biscuits, friends? It might change y'all's recollection on the query. This hand is a snapperino. Snapperino, keeperino. Oh, they're mulling to five. Big fan mulling to five? That's messed up. That ain't right. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Now I kind of just want to do that. So I think I will. You too. Let's see what we hit here, huh? What's it going to be? It's going to be a land? All right, we're doing it. We're living the dream. Actually, both opponents cannot have good luck at the same time. That's true. Uh, I'm just going to take three here. I don't see any of these blocks being profitable for us. So I'm assuming that's an Irish Shaman because it literally always is. Let's get in there for two first because we can make this dude indestructible if they want to block and that's a fine. I mean, we're basically paying three to kill it, so. And next turn with four mana, we can actually pump twice. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, wow, that was the rudest shit you could have done. That's unbelievable. That's incredible. So, well... I'm tempted to just ditch the conscripts here. Because I want an extra blocker. All these guys have menace. Conscripts is good, but I want the creature. Um, yeah, okay. That seems good. And we can play both next turn. Seems okay. Yeah, we all knew. Let's see what happens. Exiles. Oh, Legion War Boss. Oh, wow. That's so good. Okay, two, two Manasios at the same time. Block, block, block. Take three. One card and one Legion War Boss. Okay. 
Okay. Oh boy. That is a creature. One, two, three, four. Hero. I'm actually okay with alphaing here. Because we get to flip Kithian. And that's pretty strong. And if they just want to block Kithian, that's totally fine. I'll try to Kithian for a Legion War boss. Yeah, this seems good. Oh yeah, flip them. Flip them up and flip them out. That's what I always say. He's never said that in his life. Uh, the next time a creature gets indestructible, untap that creature. Oh, on. Untap this dude. That seems good. I think we're I think we're good here, but they mulligan to five as well, so not a mono red deck, so we're still gonna have to do Crutch Jr. Stip, but pretty good okay and something else jeez are you gonna make something able to block okay hero blade hold can't block all right that's fine Just block here so block here, block here. Are they dead? Oh, we can just pump this guy for a million, right? I'm not even doing the math here. Smash on in. I feel like this is good. I'm no expert. Wait, I didn't even have this guy as a 2-2 yet? Oh my god, that's terrible. I think they're still... Yeah, they're still dead, but... We just spent way too much mana for that. I totally thought it was a 4-4 four -four for some reason. I was like, wait, we're too... We're, we're too... Uh, we've, we've played for too long for that to not be a 4-4. Four -four. And uh, that was not the case. I'm bringing Sweltering Suns in again. And Silk Wrap. And Fairgrounds Warden. Take out Mirror and Crusader. Mirror and Crusader's at his worst in the red deck. Take out a Student. Take out Goblin Guide. Like, I just don't want to be the aggressive deck in this matchup. That seems good. Um, I don't like the odds of me having seven mana. I feel like if we get to seven mana, we're probably dead. Wow, this hand's actually very good despite being mono-colored. <sighs> Remember that time we played mono-white, guys? Yeah, we could have actually put uh, Figure of Destiny to a 4-4, which would have been more damage, and also put Legion War Boss on the board, which would have been more damage, so. Legion War Boss is an extra two, Figure of Destiny is an extra two. So instead of, I think they were at negative two, it would have been negative six. I think we lead with Giver. Bitter Blossom, what? I'm just gonna pass here. Man, Bitter Blossom actually seems maybe rough? I don't actually even know. Adanto Vanguard seems terrible against Bitter Blossom. <laughs> 
Crew999, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the support. Glad, uh, glad you could catch live. Knight's Whisper. Knight's Whisper. Knights, they're gonna take so much damage against the aggressive deck. That's terrible. That's not where you want to be at all. Um, Legion War Boss is kind of like a bitter blossom that you don't take any damage from. That's kind of cool, right? No blocks, huh? Very aggressive. This is where they go black man or blue mana fallen shinobi. Hero of Blade Hold. Bramaz. I'll be like, that's rough. My nose is itching, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not picking my nose, I promise. It's just itching on the inside and I'm just trying to scratch it. attacks again no attacks again all right so we're just gonna play another white here everybody come on in make this guy bigger mentor did it a deal all right what's gonna happen to you huh all right well This is where we try to make it un unblock. I mean, this is just enough. I can just let it let it go, right? Because if we make it, if we get pro black, they're going to just kill it in response. They have six cards in hand. I think this is actually just fine. Now they go to six. Bitter Blossom is a hell of a drug. Ugh. Oh no, dang it, go back to the game. I want to I want to I have five lands in my hand. Totally rough. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons as far as Deluge is not in the modern cube. No. That that would not be in the modern cube. Uh cuz modern. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you guys next time. You can check me out on coolstuffinc.com, manatraders.com, patreoncom Lapore. You know the drill. Go to the things and do the support. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.